If you treat people broken, they act broken. So we treat them like whole individuals and empower them to do the things that they can do. Pretty soon they're doing things they never thought they'd be able to do and they're empowering those around them. We'd say at every time when someone walks in these gym walls is there's the only disability is a fixed mindset. So for us being able to change that perspective of what it means to live without a leg or live in a wheelchair, it makes them have to adapt to life beyond the gym walls. Adaptive Training Foundation is a cost-free gym for those living with traumatic injuries. And we have a flagship nine-week training program where we help adaptive athletes transform their lives through exercise and community. I was going to have a preventative double, mas double mastectomy to lower my chances of getting breast cancer. Due to that, I ended up catching a blood clot. They weren't aware that it was a blood clot, and when they were doing chest compressions, the blood clot burst, went all throughout my body. And in order to save my life, they had to amputate my leg. But I lost my leg, but they saved my life. You just hit mental stage when you're laying in that hospital bed and you want to ask yourself, what's next? Being an active person, you want to get back in that groove of being active. And so you reach out and find places like this that push you not only physically, but mentally uh, to your, all, your whole capabilities. Better yourself um, for what's in the future and what you have next. All that really matters is that intrinsic worth and value. So we work with them on mindfulness and meditation. We work with them on breath work, anchoring themselves. Uh, work with them on intention setting and goal setting, pushing towards a new ridge line for most of them. It helps prepare you for what you're about to tackle in your workout. And then after you do the same thing, you decompress, it definitely makes a difference. The community around here are all supportive and open. You can look to your right and to your left and people are going through the exact same situation and exact same mental state that you're going through or have already been through it to help you, uh, help you along the way, which is rare amount of places really have that. Mentally, just being around people who are like-minded and who have been through something similar to you, mentally and physically, I have become a better person. A lot of our guys that come through the program come back to be volunteer trainers to train those like them. We have an above-knee amputee Marine who was blown up in Afghanistan, is now training a current class member who's an above-knee amputee. To have those that have been through the program to come back and serve has been hugely important for where we are now and where we're continuing to grow. There's no excuses. You don't have to quit. You can push through and you can pursue like whatever goal that you're chasing after. And that and this place has helped me a lot uh, realize that, you know, because I wasn't even at a headspace when I was an able-bodied person that I thought I could do the things that I could do now. It just gives you a new appreciation towards how hard you can work and how, uh, how much you can get done. We'd say it every time when someone walks in these gym walls is there's the only disability is a fixed mindset. So for us being able to change that perspective of what it means to live without a leg or live in a wheelchair, us being able to provide that digitally as well will only help further the cause and the movement. I have two ways to look at it. I can be positive or I can be negative. Um, if I choose to be negative about my situation, it's going to be 10 times worse. If I choose to be positive, it still may be bad, but it's not going to be as bad. Man, ATF is great, man. It's, 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 it's just a hell of a place uh, for all kinds of people.